Hi there and welcome to another how-to episode. In this episode I'm going to show you how you can easily use engineering toolkit to convert from uh, MJ and Red Flux into uh, EE or EU even um, in industrial craft. It's very easy you only need one block and I'll show you the block now. The block is simply just an EU adapter and it can convert from red flux to EU and of course the redstone induct uh, conductive pipes will convert from MJ to e uh, red flux so there's no point to do that. So the recipe for this is very simple. It's a couple of slabs, a PSU which we've made in a previous episode, a copper ingot or a gold nugget and then this red sweet stone ingot. Now if you press or on this it doesn't give you a recipe so that's kind of the main thing that we have to get to make these things. So I'm going to show you how to make sweet redstone ingots and then I'm also going to uh, show you how to convert between M J or red flux and EU. So let's get started. So for this we're going to need modular sockets as always um, some form of power, I'm just using a solar panel here. We're going to need two item inputs. Uh, the multi smelter, this is the main block here that we're going to need now. So let's bring up the recipe for that. It's a block of ferrous or nickel, uh, depending what mods you have installed. Uh, two furnaces, a blank module and another PSU. So it's kind of resource intensive but um, it's probably worth it if you want to have one type of power and convert, um, power everything from that. And then you also need a machine output. So let's go ahead and assemble one of these. Solar panel on top. It doesn't really need matter where everything goes. Uh, and now we need to configure it. Um, we just need to configure the inventories. Inventory. So we want to input to say zero and one and machine output to wherever so then we want to set this it needs to take the two inputs but it's using the liquid one as the second input so let's get to the liquid one and two so one and zero so you can see there it's inputting to zero and it's uh, inventory zero and it's also inputting to inventory one and then the multi smelter will take one and zero and smelt them together. So let's go ahead and get some items that we need. So to make sweet redstone ingots, we need sugar and redstone. So let's just put this in here and uh, I didn't get any item ducts. So let me just grab some item ducts. Um, item ducts and we'll grab a lever as well. So we'll grab item ducts there and item ducts there. Flip this around and we'll put down a lever. So you can see it is using power now. Cool. So let's just get another chest so we can output to the chest. And there we go. Sweet redstone ingots. Very simple. Um, not exactly huge uh, resources there. You can see it's it's heading away there and it's triggering the redstone latch every time it uh, does this. And um, there we go. So um, actually, I don't think this needs that on, does it? It might do. But uh, yeah, so that's heading away there and doing that. So that's how you make the sweet redstone ingots. Um, it does seem to take a lot of power. I'm not exactly sure how much power it's using but it is using quite a lot of power. So uh, maybe the solar panel is not the best idea to do this. So now that you have your sweet redstone ingots and you can assemble yourself 
your EU adapters. Let's get these out here. Uh, simple enough, as I said, slabs, redstone, ingots, um, PSU and copper or gold. So let's just grab out all this stuff here, um, various stuff that I have here. So let's put down a red sun energy cell and an MFSU. Obviously you cannot power these directly from each other. Um, but we can take this high voltage solar array, place it on top and it will start charging up the uh, MSFU. So say we wanted to charge this redstone cell from this MFSU. We could just do this. No, of course we can't do that. Um, let's change that to input on all sides for a second. No, see, you can definitely not do that. So um, we can just grab ourselves one of the cool EU adapters here um, and place it here. Now, if we hit this with a hammer or a wrench or something, you can see that the face changes sides. So this is input or output. Um, so I think, I can't remember which one's which, but I think that's the input. And then if we get some or redstone conduits and we'll change this to output, we do that. No, it must be the other way around. Um, or is that meant to be? Hmm. Yeah, there we go. So there we are. We're charging a redstone energy cell using EU uh, compact solar array high voltage. Um, the voltage, of course, doesn't matter, uh, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to upgrade or downgrade the voltage, which is pretty nice. And that is also works in reverse, I believe. Uh, we can probably test that out by putting a furnace. Electric furnace. So if we put the furnace here, and if we output EU as well and stick that there, um, yeah, looks good, it's not exploding. So there we go. Um, and if I really want to, I can, can switch this to output. No, oh, wrong side. Wrong side still. There we go. Uh, we can break off the EU pipe and this should now be um, powering this furnace and we can probably try that by getting some iron ore. And you can see the furnace is being powered by this redstone energy cell. Cool. So there you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick how to on how to convert from EU to uh, RF. And then, of course, RF can be used to power MJ. So then you can have your um, all your power being generated in one source. So you can have a big, huge nuclear reactor powering all your RF stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, and uh, we'll see you later.